Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System. Hope you're doing well as we go into the last weekend of February. And today, I just want to talk to you about how sports books work and how they make money when you are betting on sports. Now, you may not realize just how sports books make their money, and you may be just thinking that they just make money off of losing bets, but that's not exactly true. Yes, they do make money off of losing bets, but there's other ways that sports books make money to ensure that they make profits and that you necessarily don't get as much money as you expect back when you are making bets. So if you are new to sports betting, this may be something that uh, is unknown or maybe uh, something that you're not aware of. And even uh, folks who bet regularly and who also wager on sports casually may not necessarily know just how sports books make money and how they work. So today we're just going to touch on this very quickly and give you a little bit more knowledge to make winning bets and Go over to Zcode system as well, and you can read up on all the great information we post there weekly. Uh, things about this, educational uh, educational topics, as well as how to use the various tools at Zcode system. And also, of course, we give you all the bets, picks, and, and different things that you can use uh, for the various sports that you wager on. So be sure to go over there and check that out at zcodesystem.com backslash blog. And of course, use the tools and the VIP to help you make your winning bet picks and uh, to give you more knowledge on all the sports that you wager on. But of course, today we're talking about how do sports books work. So let's take a little look at this. Okay, guys, so as you can see there, we've got our question. How do sports books work? Now, a sports book, which of course, if you are aware of betting and you have bet uh, previously in the past, you will know that we also call sports books bookmakers and bookies. These are typical terms that we use in sports betting. And this is just a company that accepts bets from sports bettors, and they take money from both sides. Whether you want to, for example, bet on the Kansas City Chiefs to win the Super Bowl, or you want to bet on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they will take bets on either side, and they will take most bets. For example, uh, that sports books take the traditional way is which team will win, or which individual will win if you have two different teams. So, will the Chiefs win, or will the Tampa Bay Buccaneers win? Now, of course, nowadays in modern sports betting to attract more sports bettors and to uh, just market themselves uh, better and to make more money, sports books offer a variety of markets, especially on individual sports games. Uh, if you look at uh, if you look at the latest games in the English Premier League, you will see a wealth of markets for just one game, whether it be um, the outright who will win the game, but then you also have other uh, other areas you can bet on. So uh, who will score the goals? Who uh, who will uh, which team will score the most goals in the game? What will be the final score uh, over under uh, both teams to score both teams not to score? All kinds of bets can be made now in modern sports betting, and this applies to various uh, sports. Whether you bet on soccer, whether you bet on the NFL, whether you bet on the NHL, and prop bets are very popular. So um, the traditional way of betting on the winner of a game. Uh, that's that's the traditional way, and that's how a lot of sportsbooks still operate and how a lot of bettors still wager their money. But nowadays, with all the different uh, markets available, there are more ways than ever that a sportsbook can make money. So that is why a lot of the top sportsbooks in the world today, uh, Bet365, for example, which is the, the sportsbook that I usually wager with uh, online, this, this is why they are making millions and sometimes billions of dollars right now uh, on betting and on sports bettors. Okay, let's look at just a few basics of betting right now. So kind of going over what I just uh, just said, but just a little bit more in depth. Now, a bookmaker accepts bets on both sides of a sporting event. So again, if we look at the Super Bowl, they would accept bets on both the Chiefs and both the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And this means, of course, that you are betting on either Team A or Team B to win the game or the event. Um, and if you... you are successful if you bet on team a and team a wins well then you win profits if if you bet on team a and team b wins then well you lose and the bookmaker will take the money that you have wagered and they will use it to pay out uh, the bets on the other side and if there's anything left over well they'll be keeping it for themselves now bookies can do this due to the difference between what a puncher wagers and what they win so you're never going to make as much as you wager when you make your bet now, 
if you see here, most bets require a better to wager $110 to win 100 So there's always going to be a slight bit of money that a bookmaker makes just for accepting your bet. Now, we're going to get into this in just a second, but that's called the juice or the vig. And this is just a fee that you pay for a sports book to make the bet, to place the bet. And, of course, some sports books take... Uh, depending on the sports book you work with, they may take less or more for the for the juice, depending on the sport. Now, if we look into the juice here, the juice is a word which we use to denote the sports betting uh, house's edge. Uh, so the sports book's edge is the juice. So the juice is the money that the better pays the sports book for taking the wages. We just said there. So and we use that example of $110, and you win back 100 So the juice would be the $10. So if you have a line of minus 110 and minus 110 where two bettors wager $10 each on the opposite two sides, no matter what the outcome of the bets are, the sports books still win. Now you may wonder, well, how does that happen if I win the bet? Well, that's because a $10 bet at minus 110 will only net the better $9.10 in profits while they risk $10, $10 that is. Now the sports book will take $0.90 cents for each $10 bet. If they're betting on a minus 110 line if a bookie takes 90 cents for every bet it accepts over the course of the year that is an incredible amount of profits it is taken and the only reason the sports book gets this 90 cents per bet is just for simply taking the bet accepting the bet and allowing you to wager your money with them so think of all the money now that a sports bet makes off of a losing bet and the profits it makes after covering winning bets with that money, combine that with the juice, and that is just why sportsbooks make money hand over fist, and they are doing so well in the world today. Think about that. Now, this is why it is important for you to use the tools at your, at your disposal, and this is why it is important to think very hard and to work very hard to make your sports bets. Because you want to earn back this money. You want to make back this money that the sports books are taking from sports bettors just for accepting these bets and the profits that they're making from losing bets. So, guys, think about all of that before you go and make your next bet. And, of course, you've got the Z Code system tools that can help you make educated, smart bets on all of the sports that you wager on. So guys, that is just a short video today just to talk to you a little bit about how sports books work and juice. So this is something that you should definitely be aware of because a lot of people, a lot of bettors are not aware of this. They think that sports books are just out there to facilitate them to make money, to facilitate them to wager on the sports that they enjoy. So go over to the zecosystem.com backslash blog to read up on everything else we have there. I've got the blog there about how sports books work and how to pick a winning sports book to help you uh, help you with your wagering. So you can always also find great information on picks and other things there that we have at Zecosystem. So guys, we will see you soon here at Zecosystem. Bye for now.